Hi Jane, cold and wintry out there for all of us, especially so for parts of northern Scotland. In fact, in Loch Gloscarnock in Highland, we've got 32 centimetres of snow already and there's more of it to come. The Met Office have issued an amber warning that's valid from 3 o'clock this afternoon right through to midnight for northern Scotland. Could be about 10 to 15 centimetres of snow falling there on top of what is already lying. But if you haven't got the snow, you've certainly got the cold. So next few days are staying pretty chilly wherever you are and certainly a risk of some icy stress and for some of us wintry showers too but the temperatures have been up and down haven't they so far this winter certainly for the first few weeks of January we were sat in that mild air so we had the jet stream well to the north of the UK there we were in the the mild air but at the moment the jet stream has been diving further south and that's what's allowed this cold arctic air to spill in from the north and crossing our shores and that's certainly sticking around certainly for the next couple of days Hello there, good afternoon. It was a very cold start earlier on this morning. Some of our rural spots dropped as low as minus seven degrees Celsius last night. Some very frosty weather watcher pictures too coming in from Kingston upon Thames and from Greenford. Now, as we head through the rest of the afternoon, then some spots across the capital really struggle to get above freezing. Temperatures in central London, just two or three degrees Celsius, some hazy sunshine on and off, but also some high cloud in the way at times. So very cold feeling day but it will be largely bright. Now, as we head through tonight, there's another Met Office weather warning force for icy stretches, and that's valid for the whole of the capital, so do take care. Everything's just refreezing onto the roads and the pavements. Dozens of people were injured early this morning after a double-decker bus carrying 70 workers to Hinkley Point Sea Power Station in Somerset overturned in freezing conditions. Uh, Avon and Somerset Police declared a major incident after the crash near Bridgewater, which also involved a motorcyclist. And we talked yesterday about it being cold, but I don't think I was quite braced for how cold this morning. I know, really freezing. So yesterday we got up to a high of about six degrees. Today we only had a high of two degrees. And in fact, some places in London didn't even get above freezing. So tomorrow it's going to be a little bit warmer, sort of on paper, but then we've got the wind chill coming in from the northwest. And so actually it's probably going to feel the same tomorrow in some places again, close to freezing. So Duncan, get your best coat on, your best, best gloves on, because it's going to be chilly. Here we go. Hello again. What a gorgeous sunset yesterday over Eel Pie Island. Look at the tops of those trees, just tinged red there. I love that. Very cold though. It's going to be cold and frosty again tonight. We've got the potential for some icy stretches. So a yellow warning in place from the Met Office right through until 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. Watch out for those. Mostly dry over the next few days. Couldn't Rule out uh, a shower, a wintry one, maybe here or there. But we have got some nice winter sunshine in the mix for you to enjoy, although it's not doing a huge amount for the temperatures. Well, we've had a lot of heavy snow, 30 centimetres of lying snow across parts of the Highlands. I'm a big fan of snow, but I wouldn't fancy taking a seat here. A recipe for a cold derriere, I think. But it's not the only place that's seen some snowfall. We've also had lots of heavy snow moving in across Northern Ireland. This was the scene from London Dairy sent in during the afternoon. Yeah, and it's very cold out there, isn't it? It certainly is, Sonia. We're, we're here in our warm-ish studio, but I feel cold just looking at this scene as captured by a weather watcher in Richmond Park earlier on this morning. And some of our temperatures, particularly in the rural spots of Surrey, got as low as minus seven degrees Celsius last night. The coldest night of the week is still going to be cold for the rest of the week. Of course, some hazy sunshine around today and some beautiful colours at sunset too. Just take a look at this one from the Hyde, which is in Barnet in North London. Now, the big difference between yesterday's forecast and today's is that we now think the cold weather is set to last for the rest of the week so it won't be turning milder particularly at the weekend it will stay dry though there'll be some sunshine but just quite a chilly northerly wind blowing and earlier we heard about the amber weather warning for heavy snow in northern Scotland. Well, there are yellow warnings for snow and ice across much of the UK as well, Alex. Mm. And that's going to cause quite a bit of travel disruption, I'd imagine. Yeah, it would be wise to check before you travel first thing tomorrow morning, especially if you're one of those people that is going to be on the road first thing tomorrow morning. Uh, there will be a fair amount of ice around, and that's why these warnings are very much in place. But let's take a little look back at the conditions that we've been dealing with today. This is mould in Wells, looking like well a scene from Scandinavia. Uh, picture perfect there, lovely winter wonderland. Hopefully it didn't cause too much disruption. And then we go to County Durham, which was literally freezing. You can see the icicles hanging off the farm gate there. 
A little bit of sunshine pushing through. And then for Inverness in Scotland, where they've seen several centimetres of snow in places, hasn't bothered the cows too much. Uh, and, uh, and also, uh, well, in London, actually, it wasn't as wintry, but it still was a pretty cold day with temperatures around 2 degrees Celsius. There was a fair bit of frost here and there. It wasn't weather for ducks, but these guys didn't seem too bothered by it. As I say, there are still weather warnings in place as we head through into tomorrow. Yes, that amber warning, which we were talking about earlier in the programme, not too far away, actually, uh, in that amber warning area. Uh, Loch uh, Glaskarnock actually is seeing 33 centimetres of snow, and that could well get topped up as we head through. And you can see outside of the amber warning area, uh, we do have these other warnings for snow and ice. Go very carefully, even outside of these areas. As I say, if you're going to be on the road first thing tomorrow morning it could be quite slippery underfoot not to mention a few wintry flurries here and there well let's take a look at the details for the next few days and uh well it stays pretty cold but these were our daytime highs today in comparison to what we should be seeing at this time of year and there won't be a great deal of change in this as we head through into tomorrow yeah, so as I say, those weather warnings have been changing a little bit over the last couple of days. So I think the best advice would be to check before you travel first thing tomorrow. It's going to be quite icy. All right. Thanks very much, Alex.